we're one of the few small military museums that's recognized by some of the biggest museum associations in the United States. Katy is one of the most patriotic cities that I've known. They stand behind their veterans. George Bush dedicated our museum the first time in uh, May the 15th, 1992. He was actually here. This is a historic site because he was here and dedicated our museum. This is what I call the jewel of our collection. We have one that is the um, for the Army. We have one that is for the Navy, Marine Corps, and the Coast Guard. And then there's one for the Air Force. Most people are not aware that there are three different medals. There's a lot of history. A lot of history. And we, we've got a little bit of all of it here. All the wars, all the services. Uh, just all kinds of different things. They want to learn about the veterans. They want to know their experiences. They can read what's in the history books, but hearing it from a person that's been there, gone through that, been through the sacrifices. The time when I got out of the Air Force in 1967, Vietnam veterans were not looked upon very well. Even the VFW old veterans from World War II, they just thought we were young squirts and you know, they didn't have any use for us. We love having school children here. We get, we get two, three bus loads at a time sometimes. It's very educational. Most of them have no clue of what this country's gone through. Well, it makes me feel very proud because uh, I lived part of it. And uh, you know, nowadays, there's only about 1% of the population that even go in the military. It's a very small percentage. People want to repay the soldiers, the veterans, for what they have given up. So many of them have given up their arms, their legs, their sight. The city of Katy wants to stand behind these men and women. The table is set if they ever return. To come up here every day is what keeps me going. This is not a job. This is not a job. This is a, a passion with me. I enjoy working with the artifacts. I enjoy restoring them and making sure I can get them back as perfect as I can. No, it's not one of the few cities. It, it, it proves that uh, the entire state of Texas is veteran friendly. We just feel blessed that uh, we've got people like City of Katy that are want to keep us going.